Okay, good morning once again, my dear Mathem 1 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. So today we're going to continue our lesson about graphing coordinates. So we have here again our slides. This is a recap for what we have learned last meeting. So we have here the Cartesian coordinate system. So this is the uh, Cartesian plane with the uh, x-axis being in the horizontal number line. And we have here the y-axis in the vertical uh, number line. Okay, so if you say number line, it's going to the right or to the positive side or to the uh, negative side as well as with the y-axis going up, which is positive, and going down, which is negative. Now remember that this Cartesian plane is divided into four different quadrants. Okay, so here in this uh, side here, with this color, what is this? Color yellow, this is quadrant one, having the sign of the x and y coordinate to be positive, both positive, the x, to the right and the y axis to going up are both positive okay second we have here with the blue color that is quadrant two or the second quadrant having the sign of the coordinates negative and positive so going to your left is a negative x-axis and going up again is the y-axis or positive y-axis now going down we have here quadrant 3 or the third quadrant. So the sign here of the coordinates are both negative. So the x to the left is negative and the y axis going down is negative. That is why for quadrant 3, the signs are both negative. Now we have the last one with the purple color. So for quadrant 3, we have the green and the quadrant 4 is purple. Now the sign here for the coordinates are positive and negative because you will see here the x-axis is going to the positive side and going down here is the y-axis which is negative. Okay, so those are the four different quadrants uh, for this Cartesian plane. Now remember that the origin, the origin is here in the middle, this one, wherein that uh, the x and y-axis intersect to each other. And the coordinates for this is 0 for x and y is 0, so 0, 0. Now, now we continue with the next slide. This one. Now again, if you have the coordinates x and y, now we call it an ordered pair. Because uh, uh, for, for, for every point, for every point that lies on the Cartesian plane, it brings an ordered pair. Okay, it brings coordinate, the coordinate X and Y. So if the coordinate X and Y will be pair, then we call it ordered pairs, ordered pair. Okay, just like this, we have your example, the point A. Point A here, as you can see that it has a coordinate of positive 3 and positive 2. Okay, so if you're going to move from the origin, that is, three units to the right to the positive side of x. One, two, three. And we go two units to the positive side of y, uh, y axis. We have here one, where's the coordinate? Uh, where's the uh, uh, cursor? Going up, one and two. So we can find that the point A is in this point here. So this is the ordered pair three, two, having the coordinate. 3, 2 at point A. Na? You don't understand, my? So that's how you can uh, locate the points or coordinate or the ordered pairs, X and Y. So remember that if that is in the coordinate uh, quadrant 1, both positive. If in the second quadrant here to your left, upper side to your left is a negative and positive. And down to your left is a both negative and down to your right is positive and negative. Okay, so we have your more example. This one. Now remember that 
The other name for the x, uh, the value of the x-axis or the x-coordinate is called abscessa. That is the other name or other term for the x-coordinate of the ordered pair. We call it abscessa. And the name or the other name for the y-coordinate of, uh, of the ordered pairs, we call it ordinate. Na? So you have here the, this coordinate 2, 3. 2 is the abscessa and 3 is the ordinate. Na? So this is in quadrant 1. The point or the coordinate 2, 3 can be found in the first quadrant. Okay? More examples here. This one. So this one, uh, we have here already the graph. And we plot already the, the different points here. Like point P, we have the coordinates 4 for X axis and 3.5 for the Y axis. Both positive, right? So point P is both positive. So you can find this here in the first quadrant. This is the first quadrant. So that is why we have here 4 for X. And 3.5 is half between 3 and 4 for the y-axis. So we have your point P at first quadrant. Na? Now with uh, letter uh, point Q. Point Q, this is positive, negative. Then you can find this where? In the positive and negative. That is in the fourth quadrant here, over here. So you have positive 2. And negative 3. So this is point Q. Right? Fourth quadrant. Now letter L. Letter L is, you see, 0. Now if uh, one of the coordinate is 0, then that coordinate lies, it's either in the x-axis or in the y-axis. Nah? So for the L, since that 0 or the x-coordinate is 0, meaning to say that uh, this point will lie on the y-axis, right? So we have here 0 and negative. The y-coordinate is negative 2.5. And that is here. This is going down. This is the y-negative. And that is negative 2.5. Negative 2 here and 0.5 here. So this is negative 2.5. Nah? So the point will lie on the y-axis. So if y axis or the y coordinate is 0 then the x coordinate is a number like positive or negative number or integer or decimal or whatever is that then that point will lie on the x axis Na? so we have here point m point m is lying at positive negative so positive negative is fourth quadrant we have here m 4 and negative 1 Followed by N, both negative. Negative, negative, so that is in third quadrant over here. See so how this is 3, and this is negative 3, and between negative 4, this is negative 3.5, or this is point N. Now we have your S. So S again, you will see S. Uh, the Y axis is, or the Y coordinate is 0. So meaning to say that this will lie on the X axis, but that is negative. So negative is going to your left. And S is over here. This is 2. This is negative 2.5. And this is 3. So negative uh, point S is here. And the last one is point T. That is negative positive. Negative positive. Where? That is on the second quadrant. Okay. Second quadrant. We have negative 2 for the X axis. And negative one point, uh, positive 1.5 for the Y axis. So this is point T. Okay. Did you understand my... Okay, so we have here, so letter A, state the coordinates of the points A and B in the graph, or on the graph, na? State. So where is the, what is the coordinate of points A and B? Now we have here point A, and we have here point B, right? Point A is located on the second quadrant, and uh, point B is located on the fourth quadrant. Now remember on the second quadrant that is negative positive and for the fourth quadrant we have positive and negative right so the x the x value here or the x coordinate here is negative and the y coordinate is positive so look down below we have here negative 4 for the x 
and here for the y it's 2. So therefore the coordinates for point A is negative 4 and 2. We have there. Now we go to point B. Point B is in the fourth quadrant is positive negative, right? So you have here positive going up. This is 3 and we have here negative 2. So there's neg uh, 3 and negative 2. Now question B. State the quadrants in, in which points A and B lie. So uh, I have uh, said that already. Uh, point A lies on the second quadrant, right? And point B lies on the fourth quadrant. Okay? Now, let us see. Point the po uh, plot the point C, D, and E. Okay. Now, look at point C that is negative 2 and negative 4. Both negative. Both negative can be found here in the third quadrant. Right? So, negative 2 is here. And negative 4 is about here. So we don't have a negative 4 here, but it's about in this part here. Or that would be that one. And that is point C. Negative 2, negative 4. Now we go to uh, point D. Point D is 0, 2. You will see that X coordinate is 0 and Y coordinate is 2. So this point lie on the Y axis, positive side. So here. So we have 0 here for the X axis. And 2 for y, so we go up 1, 2. So this is 0, 2 or point D. Nah? And we have the last one, point E. That is positive negative. Positive negative can be found in the fourth quadrant over here. So we have here positive 3. 3 is here. We have 2, 3, 4. So 3 is here. And negative 3 is over here. So this will be point A here, below B. Right? That is E. Okay? Did you understand my 1 plus 4? Question. Okay, more. We have here one more. This one. We're, go we're going to plot this set of ordered pairs. Okay? We have negative 4, 3, 2, negative 4, 5, 1, negative 2, minus 3, and 4, negative 3. Na? So first, we have here negative 4, 3. Negative 4, 3, we have a negative and positive. Negative and positive can be found where? Which quadrant? That is quadrant 2. So we have your negative 4. Negative 4 is here. And positive 3 is here. So the point, this one. This is negative 4, 3. Okay? Next, we have 2, negative 4. Positive, negative. Positive, negative can be found where? In which quadrant? That is quadrant four so it's about here this side here so we have positive two and negative four so the point is about here this one okay so we have your next five one okay five on both positive where we can find both positive this says can be found in the first quadrant over this area so you have five for the x and one for the y so that is over here this one point here okay there we go. And we have here minus 2 and minus 3. Negative 2, negative 3, both negative. Both negative, where we can find both negative. That is quadrant 3 here in this area. So we have negative 2 for the x and negative 3 for the y. It's about here, this one, this point here. That one. And we have the last one here, 4, negative 3. 4, negative 3, this is positive and negative. This can be found where? In the, on the fourth quadrant. Yes, fourth quadrant. So it's about here. Okay? So you have 4 for the x axis or x coordinate and negative 3 for the y coordinate. So the point will be here. So uh, that's all the, uh, where we can locate all those coordinates, pair, ordered pairs that we have here. Did you understand, Mai? Do you have any question? Okay, so I hope that you understand on uh, plotting uh, the given ordered pairs. So if you don't have any question, then uh, that's all for today and we see you again next time. Bye-bye!